So, my bean sprout maker started blinking today. And I think that's supposed to be on schedule because I just opened it up. Where do I put this thing? And, yeah, I got some really tall-ass bean sprouts. A little skinny, but I think it's because I overcrowded them. I made a little forest of them. And it's not just there. How do I do this? There's another shelf down there that helped push these guys up. So it's like a two-story bean sprout factory. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to use two hands to pull this up. But the gist of it is there's one layer here and then another layer down here that push this layer up. The qu <clears throat> question is, do I let them continue to grow? They are pretty nice. They got a root system. Everything's edible. The store, they drop them in water and it washes the heads off and the roots off. But damn, everything tastes good. Impressive. I dig it. I will be using it more. Part two, sort of. So I'm at my sink now. And I'm holding this son of a bitch up high. There's its root system. I'm going to take the second layer off and see what else is there. Holy kitten caboodle. Okay, so here's part one system. And there's the system that it was sitting on. Part two. My, the fun never ends. Cool. Well, I'm probably going to shave those roots off right there at the base. And then take the rest off. We'll see. Okay. I'm going to do a hairy shave. And that should eliminate the, the root system issue. Now time to dump them. All right. That's the yield. This shit is the beast. Took about three days. Every day a water change. Every day a water change. Anyways, I dig it. It was a hell of a lot easier and... Well, about the same as old school. You just got to keep it watered. That's all. Fresh water. Cool. Well, when they were growing, they sprouted these little hollow exterior shells. So, I've been throwing them away by washing it. And the little guys either sink to the bottom or float to the top. Yeah. Yeah. Hard to catch them. Anyways, well, I've done a little house cleaning myself, so I've gotten most of them, but we will see. But that's my only recommendation, you know. You're growing these things wild, you gotta deal with the work. Hello. Uh, you gotta, come on, get over there. You gotta deal with the roots, and you gotta deal with the little caps, the little green things. Oh, I fill them down here. Yeah, yeah. I think they're settling, which is good. Anyway, so I think technically you could just wash them and rinse them. And yeah, there you go. Grab a handful of good bean sprouts with a couple of caps in there. Um, yeah, that's a keeper. All right. We're going to keep tooting right after I clean this strainer. All right. If you let everything settle and you pick it up nice and slowly... Check it out, look for green things, and gently put it down. There's no green things, no caps, none of these. So, the key is to be patient, kind of slowly grab it. And you're saying, what about all those roots? Well, yeah, don't be a pussy. Eat the roots. One little green cap. It ain't going to kill me, but I'm going to throw it out. All right. Anywho. This is working quite nicely. 
Oh yeah, that's a nice bed of bean sprouts. So, I'm assuming those little sons of bitches, oh yeah, they're down there. They're down there. But that's good. You just got to be patient, let it settle, and you're going to get... Oh, I see some slipping through, but that's okay. Your bean sprouts. And it don't matter. This stuff's protein. It'll be good for you. Probably where the vitamins are, Grandma said. Hmm. Crunchy. All right. I think I'm going to be having my little mini garden with this little sum bitch right here. All right. All right, cleaning the motherfucker out. Well, there she is. This is after one day's worth of water. That's it, you're done. I'm just kidding. That's like washing your, taking a shower without soap. Anyways, no, you gotta clean it out. The tube that comes out, the sprayer, and uh, yeah, I might wanna use a soft sponge there. Anyways, other than that, this biatch is done, and we'll start another batch in, yeah, maybe about a week. I got a shitload of bean sprouts. Oh, one more thing. This was at the bottom of the pan. You remember how I was, like, getting all that stuff out? But shit fire, man. That's a lot of, well, that's a lot of green shells. But that's a lot of bean sprouts, too. You may want to separate that, you know. I don't know. I mean, how's it taste? Let's get some of that green in there. All right, don't judge, okay? Mmm, chlorophyll-y. So there's a lot of chlorophyll or uh, green matter in there, obviously, hence the green. Yeah, that's like eating grass. So yeah, throw it out. You know, give it to a pig, a cow. I don't know, one of your friends you don't like anymore. Um, yeah, I'd throw the rest of that out. I mean, if you want to pick out each individual bean sprout, brush it off and eat it. Yeah, it tastes like a bean sprout. Um, but yeah, the rest of that green stuff, the shells, don't eat. Good times, good times.